valleys in this video. The center fold of the card is a valley. It's a natural valley. Anchoring shapes to the valley make the shapes pop up when you open the card. Valleys are important. So um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make multiple valleys away from the center so you can make your card designs more interesting and even give you a little more uh, room to put more shapes on the car. The materials are pretty standard. I use the hot glue gun just for a couple of shapes, but a glue stick works fine for making valleys. So I'm going to start off with the equidistant parallel valleys, and that's where I have two valleys on either side of a mountain. I'm starting off with a piece of paper that's the same size as my card. You don't have to start off with um, the same size piece of paper, but uh, this is what I like to do. Fold it in half, and then to make your valleys, just fold it in half again. And that will give you, let me just fold this backwards here. Um, when you open it up, it looks like a mountain with two valleys on either side. And they're parallel to the center fold of the card. Flip it over and put glue from the edge of the paper to that first crease. Turn it around and do the same thing to the other side. And then when you stick it onto your card, make sure that the top of the mountain lines up with the fold of the card. Then push it all down flat and smooth it out. Oh, I have a wrinkle. Let me smooth that out. See how when you close the card, you have a mountain with two valleys on either side, equidistant from the center. Now anchor your shapes to the valley. You can position them anywhere on the valley floor. I'm using a hot glue gun here, but that's due to the shape I'm anchoring, not the valley. I'm only covering valleys in this video. If you want to learn how to make pop-up shapes, check out my other videos on my channel, Square Type. The link is below this screen, right above the red subscribe button. Now I've got a cube and a pyramid spread out in different areas of the card. Just watch for sizing and positioning. See how these peek out of the card? That means my valleys are too close to the edges of the card. Those valley folds should have been closer to the center. Notice how in this example how the mountain is not lined up with the center fold of the card. That's because the two valleys are not equidistant from the center. I'll show you how to do this with a strip of paper. Find a spot for your pop-up. Lay it flat the way it would the, when the card closes and mark where the foot lands. Then crease along that mark. I'm going to do another pop-up for my second valley like this. Then flip it over and glue those glue tabs um, from the edge to the crease mark. Like that. And then when you attach it to the card, line it up along those um, marks. Lift up the middle where it's not glued and make sure those folds are firm along the marked creases before shutting the card. This will naturally make a mountain that is off-center. Just squeeze it from there. Then when you open it up, see how you still have two valleys on either side of a mountain. Now you can anchor your shapes to the valleys. really useful. If you have um, a design that requires this, see how simple it is? Okay, lastly I'll show you the angled valley. Space on a greeting card is limited, so I'll show you the easiest way to make it. Though I used a full sheet of paper um, that's the same size as my card, you don't have to, you can use a strip. Um, just fold it in half and take the center fold and bring it over to the side to make whatever side size angle you need. I'm going to fold it to here just so you can see it. And then invert that fold 
so it looks like this on the back. Then when you open it up, it's got a mountain with three valleys. Then flip it over and put glue from the edge of the paper to the crease. When attaching it to the card, make sure that the crease of the mountain lines up with the fold of the card and then smooth it out. See? Now you have three valleys and one mountain. Now you can anchor any shapes to any of these valleys. Like or dislike this video, leave me a comment, share this video, subscribe to my channel, or check out my other videos on Square Type.